في المرة الماضية وقفنا عند قول المؤلف رحمه الله اعلم رحمك الله In our previous lecture we explain what the author the shaykh رحمه الله said اعلم رحمك الله know may Allah عز وجل have mercy upon you and we mentioned the difference between having mercy upon you or for, may Allah forgive you. And we said that rahimak Allah means it's cover the past, the previous sins, and the coming one. It's not like ghafar Allahu lak, it's just cover the previous one. Idan qulna anna al rahma dua bil rahma awsa' wa ashmal. لأنه يشمل ما كان من الذنوب في الماضي وفي المستقبل بعكس المغفرة ثم تطرقنا لمعنى كشف كلمة كشف الشبهات أو اسم الكتاب Then we mentioned what's the meaning of كشف الشبهات And we said that الكشف means What does الكشف means? The word الكشف ماذا تعني؟ What does that mean? Removal. Al-kashf al-izala. Al-raf'u al-izala. So kashf, it's the removal of the doubts. And we said that the doubts, as Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullahu ta'ala mentioned in his book, Muftah Dar al-Sa'ada, qala, ya'ni khatirun aw hajisun yahulu bayna al-qalbi wa ma'rifat al-haq. And Ibn Al-Qayyim mentioned that ash-shubuha, doubt, it's a kind of thought, something that interfere between the heart and subhanAllah and stands, yani stands in the middle between the heart and knowing the truth. This is called shubuha, something that it is not clear. طيب ما هو تعريف العلم الشرعي? What is the definition of علم in religious meaning? نعم, أحسنت. معرفة الهدي بدليله معرفة الهدى الهدى معرفة الهدى بدليله So العلم as we mentioned knowing uh, the guidance with evidence and proof طيب نتابع إن شاء الله تعالى في هذه الحلقة فنقول وبالله التوفيق يقول المؤلف رحمه الله اعلم رحمك الله أن التوحيد هو إفراد الله سبحانه وتعالى بالعبادة في هذه المقطع هو عرف أي نوع من التوحيد الألوهية فقط هو عرف توحيد الألوهية لأن كل الكتاب في باب توحيد الألوهية The مؤلف The Shaykh رحمه الله is said Know me Allah عز وجل have mercy upon you that التوحيد هو إفراد الله تعالى بالعبادة Tawheed, the Shaykh is saying that the Tawheed is to singularize Allah Azza wa Jal in the acts of worship. To worship Allah alone, in another words. And of course, this definition, it is the definition of Tawheed al-Ibadah or Tawheed al-Iluhiyyah. It's not the definition in Tawheed of a Tawheed in general. So, huna a'arrafa al-Shaykh التوحيد ولم يقسمه وسنأتي فيما بعد على تقسيم التوحيد إذا التوحيد مأخوذ من مصدر وحد يوحد توحيدا so التوحيد it is like infinitive or verbal noun from the three letters verb a verb of three letters with شد in the middle of the second letter to Give the meaning of doubling. Wahada. So you see the ha 
which is the second letter, the middle, with shadda. Wahada. Wahada ma'anahu ja'ala ashay'a wahidan. To make the thing just one. Hada ma'ana wahada. This is the meaning of wahada. Ja'ala ashay'a wahidan. Aw naqool nisbatu ashay'i ila alwahdaniyya. It's to attribute or to ascribe Allah Azza wa Jal with his oneness, to his oneness, tawheed, infirad, that he is subhanahu wa ta'ala matchless. He is unique, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you say wahada, so you are saying in another word that Allah Azza wa Jal is, yani has no match and he is unique and he is Peerless, if we can say this word also. طيب, unique in what? واحد في ماذا? واحد في ذاته. واحد في صفاته. واحد في أفعاله. واحد في كونه مألوها معبودا. So when you see, when you say that Allah Azza wa Jal is unique, or Allah Azza wa Jal is matchless, in what thing? We say in his essence, he is one. In his attributes and names, he is one. In his action, he is the only one. And to be worshipped, he should be the one that deserves. He is the only one who deserved to be worshipped. So, when we say one, we say one, we say one, we say one, we say في أفعاله وأسمائه وصفاته وفي كونه مألوها معبودا. So when I say توحيد, I want to say that Allah عز وجل is one in His essence, actions or lordship, divinity and names and attribute. Is that clear? إن شاء الله up to here. طيب. الآن هذا المعنى. جعل الله أو أن الله تعالى هو معبود أو إفراد الله بالعبادة لما دعا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الناس إلى شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله ماذا قالوا أجعل الآلهة إله واحدة When the Prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم invited the people of Quraysh to worship Allah what they answered they said as Allah عز وجل mentioned in سورة صاد in the ayah number five. Allah the Almighty said more or less, has he made, this is the answer of people of Quraysh, has he made the aliha, gods, all into one ilah? Verily, this is a curious thing. إذن التوحيد لو أردنا أن نعرفه بعبارة أوضح, بعبارة أوسع, ماذا نقول? نقول أن التوحيد هو إفراد الله تعالى في ربوبيته وإفراد الله تعالى في أسمائه وصفاته وإفراده في ألوهيته وعبادته So if we want to give a clear definition and a simple one to التوحيد we will say التوحيد is to singularize Allah عز وجل in his acts of worship in his, in his lordship in his lordship, in his names and attributes, and in his divinity. This is the tawheed that we should, inshallah ta'ala, have in our mind every time we are speaking about a tawheed. Idan a tawheed, hata na'ti bihi ala shakli sahihi wal matloob, la buddha an nastahdira. أو أن نقر ونثبت أمرين إثنين إثبات تام ونفي تام حتى نتحصل to achieve the reality of التوحيد we have to have two things in our mind in our hearts two things the first one is the plain the absolute negation نفي تام and the second is the plain or absolute affirmation or confirmation. 
So nafyun tamun wa ithbatun tam. Tanfi wa tuthbit. To negate, as Allah Azza said, said fa'lam annahu la ilaha aw la ifi qawlin la ilaha illa Allah. So you clean your heart, you negate the power nobody, no one, nothing should be worshipped, then you say, except Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty. وهذا المعنى اللي هو النفي التام والإثبات التام مأخوذ من أين؟ من لسان العرب بداية من اللغة العربية يعني نمثل تقول أحمد قائم هذا إثبات ولا نفي؟ إثبات إثبات ولا نفي؟ مالكم تقول أحمد قائم أنتم خايفين شوي طيب ريلاكس ريلاكس When we said this is, I mean, this meaning we took it from Arabic language. When you said Ahmed is standing up or is standing, you are confirming here or you are negating his standing? Confirming or negating? He is standing. So you are affirming that he is standing, right? Does that mean that nobody else is standing beside Ahmed? Do you understand this when you say Ahmed is standing? Maybe Mahmoud is standing. Maybe Abdullah is standing, right? So if you just affirm, you will not have the unique. You will not have the, the meaning that we want to prove or affirm to Allah Azza wa regarding at tawheed So you have to bring both of them. Ithbatun wa nafi. You have to affirm and to negate. And this is again in Lisan al-Arab. Al-Arab yaqulun, fi al-Lugat al-Arabiyya, ma qa'imun illa Ahmed. When you say this statement, nobody is standing except Ahmed. What does that mean? Is the only one, is the unique that he is standing, Ahmed. So when we say, al-Tawheed, la budda min nafi, we have to negate and affirm after that. It's the same in this meaning is coming from Arabic language. This is why when Allah Azza wa Jal in so many different ayat, He gave us this meaning. Allah Azza wa Jal, one of the ayat said, وَإِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهُ وَاحِدٌ لَا إِلَاهَ إِلَّا هُ so Allah Azza wa Jal fi hadhihi al-aya that we can translate in Surah Al-Baqarah 163, the verse, and your ilah, God is one, one ilah. Then he said, la ilaha illa hu. There is none who has the right to be worshipped but he. Al-an hadha al-ma'na asbaha wadihan, right? Now we understand that nobody deserves to be worshipped except Allah Azza wa Jal. Why? Because we negate the action, the act of worship. Nobody should or nobody deserve to be right worshipped except Allah Azza wa Jal. So, nafyun wa ithbat. Bin nafi wal ithbat natahassalu ala tamam al-tawheed. Law qult Allahu ilah. If you say Allah ilah. Does that mean that somebody else will not say that Buddha is ilah, for example, those who believe in Buddha? They can say that, right? But, إِذَا قُلْتَ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ تَحَصَّلَ لَكَ الْمَعْنَى Then you have the complete meaning that none has the right to be worshipped except for Allah Azza wa Jal alone. وَهَذَا طَبْعًا مهم جدا في فهم التوحيد لأن بعض الناس يثبت كما سنرى بعض أفعال الله عز وجل لكن لا ينفي العبودية عن غير الله عز وجل This is very important to understand the توحيد that we are talking about because some people they affirm the acts of worship and lordship especially they affirm that but they do not negate the divinity nature or oh, the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal in His divinity. This is why it is so easy for them to fall in some acts of shirk. طيب الآن لو تحدثنا 
عن أقسام التوحيد. أقسام التوحيد. How many kind of توحيد we have? Four, three. Any other opinion? Three and a half. Three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, and two. Indeed, some scholars, they said four, some they said three, and some they said two. None of them said three and a half. Okay? So we have two types of Tawheed, but the general statement, the thing that it is well known among the scholars, that Tawheed are of two types. Tawheed are of two types, and Tawheed are of three types. This is the well known among the scholars. The fourth, which is fourth type, it, you will see that the fourth type is included, is included with one of the Tawheed that we mentioned, insha'Allah ta'ala. Why is, why we have such a difference between the scholars regarding a Tawheed? لماذا عندنا هذا الاختلاف? Tawheed نوعان أو التوحيد ثلاثة أنواع. Why we have such a difference between the scholars? Indeed, first of all, we should understand that كما يقول يعني أهل العلم لا مشاحة في الاصطلاح لا مشاحة في الاصطلاح معناها معنى هذه القاعدة إن الخلاف إذا كان واقعا في الأمور الاصطلاحية فإنه لا فإنه لا يبنى عليه حكم ولا اعتبار به إنما إيش المطلوب يظهر إعمال هذه القاعدة وين؟ لو حصل الاتفاق على المعنى لو اتفقنا على المعنى واختلفنا في المسمى لا يضر So there is a rule between the scholars that said more or less there is nothing wrong with using a new terminology nothing wrong the principle is well known this principle among the fuqaha in usul al-fiqh especially so this is why Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala said there is nothing wrong with the new concepts and the new words unless there is something bad about them. What does that mean? Unless there is something bad about them. يعني لو أن هذا التعريف أخرج معنى من معاني التوحيد فنقول لا نضع عليه X ونلغيه من القائمة. That if this new terminology or definition take out one of the meaning of Tawheed, so we are not, now the difference is not regarding terminology or words. So, it is so easy to understand why we have two types of Tawheed, and it is so easy to understand why some scholars divide it to three types of Tawheed. <coughs> Those who divide it for two types of Tawheed, though they look at you. مكلف موحد من قسم التوحيد إلى قسمين نظر إلى الموحد أو المكلف ماذا يتوجب عليك كمكلف ماذا يتوجب عليك فقالوا يتوجب عليك أمران إثنان أمران إثنان الأمر الأول توحيد العلم والمعرفة الإثبات والمعرفة توحيد الإثبات والمعرفة والثاني توحيد القصد والطلب So those who look at you as a مكلف as somebody that Allah orders you to worship him says they said what things is obligatory upon you regarding a توحيد what things they said two things as a مكلف you have to believe in two things or to bring Two things. Number one, Tawheed al-Ma'rifa wal-Ithbat. Tawheed al-Ma'rifa wal-Ithbat, which is oneness of knowledge and affirmation. Oneness of knowledge and affirmation. هذا النوع من التوحيد يشمل نوعين من أنواع التوحيد. توحيد الربوبية وتوحيد الأسماء والصفات. واضحة هذه الصورة؟ This type of Tawheed The first type of Tawheed Which is المعرفة والإثبات Which is oneness of knowledge and affirmation 
includes two things. Includes two things. The oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal in His Lordship and the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal in His names and attributes. So now, the two types of Tawheed are included in one. So you will see, in reality, there is no difference. It's the same. هذا التوحيد الأول والتوحيد الثاني هذا التوحيد يسموه توحيد إيش أيضا خبري this kind of توحيد it's a kind of توحيد that they said it's توحيد خبري something a kind of statement or information that come into you that you should believe you should have in your heart والنوع الثاني من التوحيد هو توحيد القصد والطلب توحيد القصد والطلب which is oneness of object and aim. Oneness of object and aim. And this Tawheed includes believing in the nature divine of Allah Azza wa Jal. So in other words, even though they divided a Tawheed in two kinds, they include the three types of Tawheed that we know. Right? Because the first type, the first type include two things, right? And the second include the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal in His divinity. لذلك هذه هذا هذان النوعان من التوحيد أكثر من ذكرهما ابن القيم عليه رحمة الله وشيخه ابن تيمية في كتبهما. تجد ابن القيم وابن تيمية إذا تحدث عن التوحيد تحدث عن هذين القسمين. You will see this. Definition, the definition of Tawheed to two types or into two types Imam Ibn Qayyim and Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah they mentioned these things a lot in their books so every time they speak about a Tawheed they speak about two types of Tawheed but in the first type as we said they include two things some people they attribute and ascribe Taqseem al-Tawheed that Tawheed was divided only by Shaykh Muhammad Abdul Wahab. Some said no, no, Ibn Taymiyyah was the one who divided at Tawheed. And even some of them said the word Tawheed never been mentioned in the divine text like Quran or Sunnah. And we said in the first lecture, if you remember, in the hadith narrated by Bukhari and Muslim, hadith of Mu'adh, when they came to Yemen, when they came to Yemen, they said to the Prophet, you will come to the people or the people from the book, so that the first thing that you ask them is to worship Allah. And in the prayer of Bukhari, to worship Allah. So when the Prophet sent Mu'adh to Yemen, he said, you are going to meet a people from the scripture. So let be the first thing that you will invite them to, to worship Allah. In the narration of Bukhari, أَنْ يُوَحِّدُوا The Prophet ﷺ used, أَنْ يُوَحِّدُوا اللَّهِ Use the word, Tawheed. So it is not something that Ibn Taymiyyah invented, or something that Shaykh Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahhab invented. So it is in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which is the word an yuwahidu or the word at tawheed ثبتت في كلام النبي صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم وليست من تقسيم شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية وليست من تقسيم ابن شيخ محمد ابن عبد الوهاب عليهما جميعا رحمة الله تعالى. طيب الذي قسم التوحيد إلى قسمين قلنا التوحيد الأول ماذا نسميه المعرفة والإثبات أو الخبر طيب الخبر الخبر أو قبل أن نخوض في الخبر اللي هو I don't know if I have the good or the right translation for الخبر it's like information or notification can we use this for الخبر الخبر can we use this word in translation الخبر طيب الخبر أنا أعطيك آية ومثالا I will give you an example to see what is الخبر what I mean by that الخبر 
لأن التوحيد الأول القسم الأول شيء تعتقده في قلبك The first type of توحيد المعرفة الإثبات You have to believe in your heart To build it, to establish it in your heart Now أنا أعطيك مثال الله عز وجل يقول الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم هذا المقطع من آية الكرسي في سورة البقرة مظبوط؟ طيب هذا المقطع الله عز وجل فيه يقول الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم إذا الله عز وجل يخبرنا بصفتين من صفاته مثبتتان أم منفيتان So Allah Azza wa Jalla in the ayah of Surah Al-Kursi, He said more or less the translation, Allah la ilaha illa huwa, none has the right to be worshipped, but He, the ever-living, the one who sustains and protects all. In this a part of the ayah, the ever-living, is it a quality of Allah Azza wa Jalla, or it is not? It is. Is it affirm- affirmative one or negative one? Affirm it, right? So Allah Azza wa Jal is telling us regarding two qualities. One, he is Al-Hay. Second, he is Al-Qayyum. <coughs> Al-Qayyum. ثم قال بعد ذلك لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم. لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم. صفتان منفيتان. Two negated equality here. Which is the sina bidayatun nawm. Bidayatun nawm. Like a sleep, يعني, when you see somebody, يعني, you notice that he is sleepy. Or sleepness, sleepness, you can say. Yeah. Or dr- drowsy. Yeah. Drowsy, you can use the word drowsy. That he starts, you know, he wants to fall asleep. That Allah Azza wa Jal, this equality, it's not belong to Allah Azza wa Jal. He is not from those or among those like us that he will be drowsy or sleep. So here two qualities. مثبتتان صفتان وصفتان منفيتان. هذا اسمه إيش؟ خبر. This we called it خبر. يعني الله عز وجل is telling you, is informing you regarding these qualities. Now, as a مكلف, as a مكلف, تستطيع أن تثبت أو تنفي صحيح؟ كمكلف كمكلف الخبر يحتاج تصديقا أو تكذيبا إثباتا أو نفيا واحد يقول لك محمد فعل كذا تصدق أو لا تصدق So this is a خبر something that Allah عز وجل is informing you about his quality So you as a believer, man or woman, you affirm or you deny, right? Al-Khabar, regarding Al-Khabar, or you said, yes, I believe in that, or you said, no, I do not believe in that. Yes, I affirm what Allah Azza wa Jal has affirmed for himself, or no, I do not affirm what Allah Azza wa Jal has affirmed for himself. Is that, is that symbol? Is that, you understand what I'm saying? Inshallah ta'ala. يعني, بكلام مختصر وواضح. When Allah Azza wa Jal telling us about a quality, our duty to believe in that. Our duty is to believe, our obligation is to believe in that. Now, if we deny, if we negate, if we distort, so we are not among the believers in this equality. Is that clear? واضح يا إخوة؟ يعني إذا أخبرنا الله عز وجل كما في هذه الآية بصفاته فالواجب التسليم الواجب الإيمان والواجب أن نثبت ما أثبت الله لنفسه وأن ننفي ما نفى الله عن نفسه فإن فعلنا هذا كنا موحدين وإن أولنا فقد كذبنا صراحة أو ضمنا هذا الذي نريد قوله فهل هذا واضح؟ Is it clear? Up to here إن شاء الله تعالى طيب إذا هذا قلنا عن نوع توحيد خبري لأنه خبر يأتيك. We call this kind of توحيد 
It's khabar, something that you are receiving through the Quran or the Sunnah, and you have to affirm or either choice if you want to distort or deny, it's up to you. But as a muwahid, to be a muwahid, you have to affirm what Allah Azza wa has affirmed for Himself. And you have to negate what Allah Azza wa has negated for Himself. إذا هذا النوع الأول يقوم على ماذا؟ يقوم على قاعدة وهي إثبات ما أثبت الله تعالى لنفسه هذا الخبر هذا النوع من التوحيد يقوم على قاعدة وهي إثبات ما أثبت الله تعالى لنفسه ونفي ما نفى الله تعالى عن نفسه So this type of توحيد the first one Tawheed, oneness of knowledge and affirmation, it's based on one rule. This rule is to affirm what Allah Azza wa has affirmed for Himself and to negate whatever Allah Azza wa has negated regarding Himself. Is that clear? So if you want to be among Muwahideen in this aspect, what, what should you do? Affirm what? Ah, we have to understand this. So if you want to be among the Muwahideen, you have to affirm what Allah Azza wa is telling you, informing you, what He confirmed for Himself, and to negate whatever He negated from Himself or His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, يعني affirmed for Him or negated for Him. طيب هذا النوع أصبع واضح النوع الأول له تعريف اللي هو توحيد الطلب اللي هو توحيد المعرفة والإثبات وقلنا على ماذا يدور يدور على الخبر طيب التعريف الثاني التوحيد الثاني توحيد الطلب والقصد يدور على ماذا على الأمر على الأمر the second type of توحيد it is توحيد الطلب object and aim توحيد الطلب والقصد وهذا بعكس الخبر هذا يقوم على الأمر تؤمر فتنفذ فتعمل فتطيع So this kind of توحيد it depends طلب something that you have to do something that you have to do orders come to you So what's your obligation or duty? To submit to obey and to apply the orders of Allah عز وجل Is that clear, inshallah? Yes. Alhamdulillah. طيب, توحيد الربوبية, احنا قلنا ان التوحيد الاول, the first type of توحيد, includes two things. توحيد الربوبية, وتوحيد الالهية, صحيح? Yes. Ah, mashallah, صحيح. صحيح, alhamdulillah. You are waking up, alhamdulillah. So the first توحيد, the first type of توحيد, includes two things. الربوبية, oneness of Allah and His Lordship, and الاسماء, والصفات the oneness of his name and attributes طيب توحيد الربوبية ماذا يشمل what things included can be included in توحيد الربوبية in the oneness of Allah and his lordship what things الخالق يعني هذه أفعال أفعال الله عز وجل هذه كلها من تدخل في باب الأفعال What else? When you say it, believing in the oneness of Allah and His worship, that includes different things. That believe in His essence that is one and only unique essence. And this includes His existence. Then you believe in His actions, as you mentioned. Al-Khaliq, Al-Raziq, the one who creates, the one who provides, the one who gives lives, the one who you know, takes life. You believe in that. And also, what thing else? القضاء والقدر القضاء والقدر القضاء والقدر يدخل في توحيد الروبية لذلك لا بد لك من التسليم أفعال الله يفعل ما يشاء واضح؟ قضاء and قدر also it's included توحيد الروبية Allah he is the only one that he can do in this universe so you have to submit to that And if you submit to that, you will live in a peace manner. خلاص, you knowing that Allah is the all-wise, 
and the qadr of Allah Azza wa Jal will reach, will reach you. So submit to that. هذا التوحيد كما قلنا هو توحيد الربوبية الذي يشمله توحيد المعرفة والإثبات طيب ما له علاقة في الأسماء والصفات اللي هو النوع الثاني The second type that included in the first type of توحيد which is oneness in knowledge and affirmation is the oneness of Allah عز وجل in his names and attributes ما معنى توحيد الله عز وجل بأسمائه وصفاته ما معنى هذا What's the meaning of the oneness of Allah in his names and attributes نعم يعني فيه نعم نعم هو الحمد لله المعنى قريب وطيب لكن لو أردنا أن نعرفه بتعريف يعني ميسور لأن التعريف يجب أن تكون جامعة ومختصرة نقول في تعريف توحيد الأسماء والصفات هو اعتقاد إفراد الله تعالى بالكمال اعتقاد إفراد الله تعالى بالكمال المطلق من جميع الوجوه على أي وجه على ما جاء به الكتاب والسنة على ما جاء في القرآن والسنة So تعريف الأسماء The definition of names and attributes is to believe or to singularize Allah عز وجل in perfection that he is the only one that who is per, that he is perfect in his names and absolute perfect we are talking about a kind of perfection which is absolute and plain perfection as it was mentioned in al quran and as sunnah so we believe in that we believe in that inshallah ta'ala tayyib هذه الأسماء والصفات كيف نتعاطى معها ونتعامل معها هذا مهم جدا أن نعرفه How we should deal with the names and the attributes of Allah عز وجل نتعامل معها كما تعامل السلف السلف الصالح رضوان الله عليهم كانوا يمررون النصوص كما جاءت The salaf they used رحمهم الله تعالى they passed the text as they came without distortion without distortion they used to pass the text as it is without distortion is that clear to believe in the names in the attributes of Allah عز وجل and don't try to ask how because you will not reach to know how so just believe in it as it is insha'Allah ta'ala and you will be safe the other qa'ida the other rule it is ithbatun bila tashbih wa tanzihun bila ta'atil the other rule ithbatun bila tashbih wa tanzihun bila ta'atil which is if we can say yani ithbat it's affirmation without likening or resembling without likening or resembling and tanzih bila ta'atil perfection without imperfection if we can say that i don't know if we can say it means that allah azza wa jal is perfect and we should not put out of actions his equality we should not diffuse or inactivate any of his equality we should not do that so this is the rules that we have regarding al asma wa sifat طيب نشرح النوع الثاني وإن تعبتم نتوقف ما شاء الله عليك حق عبد الرازق خلاص يبقى نشرح النوع الثاني إن شاء الله نتوقف كما قلنا أنت واقف ولا طيب طيب النوع الثاني من التوحيد ونمر عليه في عجالة توحيد الطلب والقصد the oneness of Allah in object and aim وهو التوحيد العملي هذا التوحيد we called it practical توحيد توحيد الألوهية أو توحيد العبادة if you look إذا نظرت إلى المخلوقين ماذا تسميه 
توحيد العبادة هو العبادة تصدر من مين؟ If you look at the creatures I mean ants and jinn you will call the توحيد ما what? عبادة because they are doing the عبادة so this is why we call it توحيد العبادة لكن لو قلت توحيد الألوهية فمن فأين تنظر؟ إلى المتعلق وهو الله عز وجل إلى المعبود أو المتعلق لأن عندنا متعلق وهذه يمكن صعبة شوي في الترجمة عندنا المعبود المتعلق هو الله تنظر إلى الله تقول توحيد الألوهية لكن عندنا متعلق ومتعلق فالمتعلق هو الله والمتعلق هو العبد فلو نظرت إلى المتعلق قلت توحيد العبادة وإن نظرت إلى المتعلق قلت توحيد الألوهية so توحيد الألوهية when you speak about الله عز وجل Concerning Allah Azza wa Jal. Regarding Allah Azza wa Jal, you will say Tawheed al-Uluhiyya. But if you look at ourself, you will say Tawheed al-Ibadah, the oneness of Allah in our action. Because we are the one that we are doing the ibadat. So we have to make the Tawheed, the oneness of Allah Azza wa Jal, in our ibadat. طيب, نكتفي بهذا القدر. You see before finishing that ليس عندنا اختلاف بين من قسم التوحيد إلى قسمين أو إلى ثلاثة أقسام. طيب حنجيبك عليه. إذا there is no difference between the one who divided التوحيد to two or to three because the result is one. Is the oneness of Allah and His Lordship, divinity, and أسماء and صفات. إذا توحيد خبري خبر يأتي من الله. تصديق أو تكذيب. نفي أو إثبات. واضح؟ Let us go with this to our homes. Let us go with this, insha'Allah. Tawheed khabari, something that you hear from the Quran and Sunnah. And what the thing that you hear, you have to believe. Maybe some people will deny. You have to affirm. Maybe some people will negate. So regarding the first Tawheed, we said, تصديق أو تكذيب, نفي أو إثبات, believing or Disbelieving or affirmation or negation. Tawheed is the second Tawheed. Tawheed al-amali, Tawheed al-qasd wa al-talab. Amrun wa nahi. If'al wa la taf'al. Wadah? Is that clear? The second type is do and be away from. Stay away from. Do the wajibat and be away from the muharramat. Affirm what Allah Azza wa Jal is telling you and negate what Allah Azza wa Jal is telling you to negate. So the result, as we said, we do not have difference in the meaning. It's the same thing. Three of them lead, the two groups lead, lead you to three types of Tawheed that we should have in our mind. Taib, the last question before opening a gap for you to ask. Does this type of Tawheed, were, or do, do, they, do, do these types of Tawheed were mentioned in the Quran? هل ذكرت هذه الأنواع من التوحيد في القرآن؟ يس نعم يا دكتور تقسيم هذا لا ليس التقسيم لكن هل ذكرت أو يعني هو استقراء هو لم يذكر بواحد اثنين نعم طيب أعطونا بعض الآيات give us some example from the Quran سورة الفاتحة أحسنت سورة الفاتحة is one of the first thing that the three type of توحيد were mentioned when you say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Rabbul Alameen Tawheed, what kind of Tawheed here? Ma naw'i Tawheed? Rububiyya Rububiyya, Lordship Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Asma wa Sifat Right? Maliki Yawm al-Din Also the owner, Al-Malik, Rububiyya, Malik Iyaka na'bud Wa Iyaka nasta'in Iluhiyya or Ibudiyya Or Ibadah, right? So the three types of Tawheed were mentioned here. Also the ayah number 6-4 in Surah Maryam. رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ What kind of Tawheed here? ما نوع التوحيد؟ ربوبية فَاعْبُدْهُ إلوهية وَاسْطَبِرْ لِعِبَادَتِهِ هَلْ تَعْلَمُ لَهُ سَمِيَّا Samiyya, do you know somebody equal to Allah Azza wa Jal? So this is Asma and Sifat. So the Taqseem, dividing the Tawheed into three types, it was not mentioning by 
the first one, two, three, like this. This is the ulama make it to make the alim, the knowledge easy for us to understand as we they explain arkanus salah. One, two, three, four, five, to make us understand. But the Prophet ﷺ never said arkanus salah. One, two, no, he never mentioned that. But they make this, put some rules, some principles to make knowledge easy for us. But indeed, you will see that the type of tawheed who mention this type of tawheed, it's from Sahaba, the time of the Sahaba even. Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, لما قرأ قول الله عز وجل وما يؤمن أكثرهم بالله إلا وهم مش مشركون قال آمنوا بأصناف أو ببعض الربوبية أن الله الخالق والرازق والمحي والمميت ولكنهم عبدوا معه غيره فذكر لنا نوعين ابن عباس بعض المشايخ كان يتحدث مع بعض المشايخ قالوا ترانسيلت بعض المشايخ كان يتحدث مع بعض الناس عن التوحيد هذا يقول له وهاب هذا وهابيين اللي جابوا هذا التوحيد من حامد عبد الوهاب قال له ابو هريره في الحديث الصحيح حديث معاذ وذكر الحديث قال له هذا معاذ وهابي قال له يا رجل هذا صحابي هذا <تصفيق> صحابي 1000 سنه بينه وبين محمد الوهاب سبحان الله سو ان ذا ان ذا ايه ان سوره يوسف وما يؤمن اكثرهم بالله ذات a lot of them will not believe in Allah except why they are making kind of shirk. More or less the ayah. Believe in Allah in His Lordship. In His Lordship that He is the Creator, the, belie- uh, the, the Provider, the Planner, the Owner, the One who gives life. They believe in that, the Mushrikeen. But when they want to worship, they, took, or they take idols beside Allah or with Allah to make their ibadah. So Ibn Abbas mentioned two types of tawheed in this ayah. And the one who want to have more information inshallah ta'ala regarding this taqseem, the definition of tawheed and who started, yani he can read uh, many books but one of them which is one of the mashayikh al-mu'asirin al-raddu, uh, how you call it? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. الرد كذا على ما انكر على على من انكر التوحيد نسيت اسمه لكن هو للشيخ عبد الرزاق البدر كتاب ماتع وذكر فيه اقوال السلف من منذ القدم يعني ذكر من قال بالتوحيد وفصل في هذا يعني كابن عباس وكطبري و وابو حنيفه وغيره من علماء وسلف الامه وابن يعني ابن بطل عكبري وغيره كل هؤلاء ذكروا لنا أنواع هذا التوحيد بالاستقراء طيب all of those scholars we have a book القول السديد على من أنكر تقسيم التوحيد القول السديد the name of the book is القول السديد على من أنكر تقسيم التوحيد this is a book that the sheikh the author he mentioned the Tawheed who divided since the beginning and he mentioned Ibn Abbas, he mentioned Abu Hanifa, he mentioned Al-Tabari, he mentioned Al-Qa'buri, a lot of the Salaf before even Ibn Taymiyyah, they mentioned these types of Tawheed. Arhamukallah. Asalullah Azza wa Jalla an yaj'alana wa iyaakum imman yastami'una al-qawla fa yattabi'una ahsana wa asaluhu an yu'allimana wa iyaakum innahu wa liyu dhalika wal qadru alay wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Is there any question? Yes, go ahead. Ansari. Is that the... I mean, to summarize with all these two types of the Tawheed that you've been explaining, like all this Ma'ifa and Ma'ifa, is that correct to say that to summarize it that these two types of Tawheed are called by Al-Aim and Wa'amali. That's right. Yes. Yes. These two types of Tawheed that we explain, the first one, which is Tawheed al-Ithbat wal-Ma'rifa, oneness in knowledge and affirmation, Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, called it At-Tawheed al-Ilmi, scientific or scientific Tawheed. And, huh? Practical. No, no. Al-Ilmi, afwan, Al-Ilmi, Al-Ilmi. Knowledge, knowledge. Ah, عفوا. أنا I I mistake. I I did a mistake. والتوحيد الثاني القصد والطلب سماه التوحيد العملي. Now this is a practical. 
So Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned Tawheed Ilmi or Tawheed Amali. Tawheed based on knowledge, something that you have to believe. And then Tawheed Amali practical that you are doing and practicing. So it's okay because as I said, there is nothing wrong in using a new terminology if the meaning is the same. We agree about this, inshallah, qaida from the beginning. That la mushaha fil istilah. Either can al ma'na wal mudmun wahid. No. Ayy su'al akhir. Any other question? Either you understood or you either you don't understand anything. Taib. <laughs> 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 جزاكم الله خيرا تذكروا غدا الجمعة يعني لمن أراد الصيام تاسعة لمن أصاد الصيام عشرة فيعني إن صام غدا يكون خير وبركة إن شاء الله تعالى جزاكم الله خير صلى الله وسلم وبارك